study found that Republicans scored better than Democrats on all four measures of intelligence. The gap was largest when comparing strong Republicans to strong Democrats and weakest when comparing everyone to the right and everyone to the left of independent. Um, and appreciating the free market takes intelligence. It takes intelligence. To say we should have a welfare state and use the state to redistribute income to take care of the poor is retarded, short-term, idiot thinking. Right? It's, it's just make the symptom go away. I don't care what happens to the future. The longer that people can defer gratification, the smarter they are. The welfare state is saying, I don't want to wait for charity and volunteerism and job creation to solve the problems of poverty. I want to solve it now. Now. I'm not going to therapy. Give me some cocaine. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to work out. Just give me something that's going to electrocute my abs while I sleep. <laughs> and appreciating the values of the free market takes intelligence. It takes empathy. It takes a depth and breadth of perception. And it takes a very high IQ to truly understand the value of a free market because things will get worse before they get better. I mean, this is like people who bite the dentist for filling a cavity because it hurts. The dentist assaulted me. I mean, <clears throat> so the idea that uh, people on the right uh, are smarter than people on the left, you know, this is a study. I haven't obviously researched it from here to eternity, but um, it's not a very good uh, argument to say, well, you know, we're just too smart to believe in righteous principles. Uh, if you were smart, you would believe in rightist principles. It's contradictory to their whole statement. Well, yeah, you'd, you'd at least know you have to define your terms. You know, like the number of comments are like, well, we already have a free market. How's that work? And it's like, you don't even know what a free market oh, is. Oh, that was my second free, question. Like, that was my the, second the free question. market for you is just a big giant vat of shit that you throw things in that you don't like and say, hey, they smell bad. You know, I, I dragged this rose through shit and it smells bad. So I guess rose, like, oh, we have, what, what free market? What free market? What free market? Go try and set up a fucking lemonade stand in the front of your fucking house. You know, just just try that. Just just try that in a lot of places in America. Try letting your kids walk down the street to the park when they're 10. Try, try. I got a good idea. Why don't you set up your own currency to compete with the Federal Reserve? Because, you know, we have such a great free market. Why don't you just go do that? I, that was my second question. I, I don't know if you have time to discuss it, but you've nailed it right on the head. But uh, Ted, is there something else you wanted to mention about people mistaking the crap we have now, the capitalism we have now for a true free market? 